Hello, I'm Richard Harvey. Welcome again to my studio where I've fished out a few more instruments from my collection. Now, today I've brought out this small clarinet. It's called a Chalamo, which is the predecessor of the clarinet. And this is the Sopranino version of that instrument. It's, it's very tiny indeed, but it still manages a range of nearly two octaves. Now, the one thing I like to say about this, I mean, we, we talk about the Western Symphony Orchestra as being possibly the greatest musical instrument that's ever been invented. And really, it does have an awful lot going for it, obviously. But in the whole world of historic and ethnic instruments, by sort of winding the clock back or looking further afield geographically, we get a whole new world, world of extra sounds that, that we might be very interested in. I love playing the clarinet, I play the clarinet, I've always played the clarinet, but it's covered in key work, which is great if you've got to play in C-sharp major or F-sharp major, but every time you put your hands to the instrument, you're playing metal key work. <clears throat> the great thing about this little creature is your fingers are touching the instrument, and for me there's no substitute for that. Uh, funnily enough, yes, the clarinet is one of the orchestral instruments where you really can do a, a, a pure gliss. Not, not so much in the lower octaves, but in the once you get into the upper range, you can do a, a gliss. Think of the opening of Rhapsody in Blue, for example. But this, it feels a bit like a deduc to play because you can do all sorts of expressive things with it just by using your fingers to half hole and to just slowly raise your fingers to do glissandi. things that are much harder to do if you, your fingers don't actually have access to the instrument itself. So I'd always say, you know, close to perfection as the Western Symphony Orchestra is, do think about adding some historic instruments or, or some world instruments uh, to your template because they, they will do things for you that orchestral instruments won't, can't or probably shouldn't do. So um, I'm hoping that we'll, t we'll get a whole collection of the different sizes of these and create a sample instrument for you. I, I love the sound of it. I'm sure that they didn't play it like a deduc back in the 17th century when these things first came about uh, and before it turned into the modern clarinet. Um, but it doesn't do any harm for any of us to experiment. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Richard Harvey. See you again soon. Bye bye.